Hey everyone, welcome back to Onboard Tangaroa. We had so much fun last episode at Winter Harbor. We did some hiking, we spent time with friends, and we got to learn some words in the First Nations language. Hey everyone, and welcome to our crazy life on board Tangaroa. Two years ago, we decided it was time for our family to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. A 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a lot of work. Of course, being the crazy people we are, we decided we could do the whole refit ourselves. I personally am surprised that we're not divorced yet and that our kids have not disowned us. But soon, Tangaro will be ready for our trip around the world. We hope our adventures inspire you to live each day with laughter and appreciation. Visit us at onboardtangaroa.com for early access to ad-free videos. So the joys of being a mom on a sabo of a 14-year-old who's absolutely lovely. I love her dearly. Yes, Izzy. Izzy got to sew a mermaid tail every so often because everybody needs their mermaid tail fixed. We are in Bush Shark Gardens Cove. We're just bringing the tender to shore. This is a great place to walk because you can bring the dog. Anyways, it's awesome. We are going to go see Bush Shark Gardens, which is a jewel of Victoria. Okay, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> just stop. Did you notice that we just launched a new thing? If you enter your email down below at onboardtangro.com, I will send you, or Blaine, or whoever's doing it, our videos ad free to your inbox one week ahead of time. So again, go to onboardtangro.com and you know what? We got some awesome stuff coming in the new year. I can't wait to launch it all for 2022. But yeah, onboardtangro.com will send you the videos one week early, ad free to your inbox. Don't forget to sign up now. Izzy's up there. So we're coming in by boat, which is a bit unusual. Float planes also come in here. But uh, Izzy's just pressing the button. So I'm out of breath coming up a ramp. Just wait, Izzy. She's pressing the button so the dock attendant can come down. Um, is this your main boat here or are you coming from a larger vessel at a different location? Larger vessel in the bay. Perfect. That's in Brentwood Bay here? Yes. Perfect. And is that a power or sailboat? Power. It all began with one woman's vision and passion. With a former limestone quarry for her backyard, Jenny Bushard envisioned landscaping a sunken garden in its place, transforming the property for her family and visitors for generations to come. Stones. <laughs> oh, yes, she will. Go, Maggie. <laughs> Keep going, Maggie. Maggie's like, I don't know about this. Keep going, Maggie. <laughs> so now she steps between. And once we were led in the back gate, it was time to explore the gardens that Jenny built. 55 acres of gardens, 900 bedding plants, 26 greenhouses, and 50 full-time gardeners. Figured since we're here so much, we'll get an annual pass. I'm getting. What are you having? Oh no. It's garbage or salted caramel too. Salted caramel in a cone as well? You gotta be louder. Yes, please. Okay. Gelato. We both got salted caramel. It's so yummy. Like, I love true Italian gelato. How is it is? Good. And now we're just gonna take a little walk. We've got our annual passes, so we're good for a year now. I think we'll have to get Blaine an annual pass just to be coming for gelato. Jenny, thanks for your beautiful garden. We absolutely love it. We've been here a few times. And now we have annual passes, just so we can come walking and enjoy it. Just smell. The, the smell is amazing. Though. What blue one? <gasps> this looks like our hydrangea bush at home. 
part of the quarry f floor was sealed, lined, and allowed to fill with water from natural spring, forming a lake 40 feet deep. Let's go swimming. Mr. Bushart stocked the pool with trout, which he could raise to the surface to be fed when he clapped his hands. Clap your hands and see if there's any trout there, Izzy. I don't see any trout. Yeah. Good effort, though. He brought her mermaid tail. I love black eyes, Susan. They remind me of my mama. This Japanese garden was the first garden that Jenny Bushart built. She built it in 1906, and a Japanese landscape artist, Isaburo, let me get the name right, Kishida, assisted her with design. I have to say, I think this is my favorite part of the park. Not just because it's shaded, but there's just so many little things that you have to pay attention to. Statues, wells, bridges, um, little things like all the fences are made out of bamboo and twine. Like it's an absolutely stunning garden. And again, I think this is my favorite. Okay, Maggie, go the other way. You're fine. You're fine. Stay. Come on, go. Go. And after taking Maggie over the stepping stones one more time, it was off to Todd Inlet to find some mermaids. There. Are we going to tie our tender off the dock? I feel like I should tie Izzy into the boat. Not Izzy, Maggie. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. All right. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, it's kind of chilly. <laughs> Get in. I'm waiting a bit. Are you oh, ready? you might as well just jump in now. Yep. And after swimming with a mermaid in Todd Inlet, we then found another mythical person. We found Santa Claus sailing his boat. We're seeing Santa sailing. Looks good. Nice day out. Yeah. Enjoy your sail. If only get a job and set yourself a goal. But can't help stand. I just want to ride the boat. I This is Portside. They have the best pig roast every year. Woo, boats are flying. Oh, no. Yeah. I hate 
hate it when that happens. So I would just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much you need. This is what's left of the pig. Yep. All night I kept calling this thing a pig. It's actually a lamb roast, not a pig roast. Oh yeah, it's windy. Oh, yeah. It is so windy here. I was just helping the guy over there. He had no spring lights on his boat. Oh no. And we actually took the feathers and tied the feet off versus his boat. And he was slamming up on the dog. Oh, that's not good. No, it's not good. We're pointing. The other way now. Yep. Thank you, kindly, folks. Very up for you. Open at it. Oh, you got the lady again today. Start with a feet. Oh, you said five o'clock. A Barbie. Yeah. That's what we're using. Oh, gosh, that's dinner. Barbie's people. You did good. Awesome. It's usually this rough, though. It was good lamb. But it was lamb, not pig. I, know, was I was like, this is kind of funny tasting pork. No. Did you have a good walk with the dog? Maggie. You have a good walk with the dog? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Hi, Maggie. Some kids were cutting her. Oh, really? Honey bunny. Mom's actually tastes good, Dad. So you're a white claw girl. It is blowing a booty out here. That's what we used to say. Blowing a booty. Is he? It's blowing a booty. Lane? Sky looks like it's on fire. And as luck would have it, the wind died down and we enjoyed a spectacular sunset on board Tangaroa.